Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Oda Potato. His name is Rapsty. We're back for some Shellshock Live. How are you doing, my friendo? Could scarcely be doing better. Do you want to pump up maybe the HP in the wind, turn this into a little bit of a, a challenge, right? Because we're kind of killing each other in two shots now. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about it because I was looking at see if there's any other modes. There's not really any other modes. I'm going to pop it up to 600 HPs. Ooh. I know. Speaking Ooh. of... Speaking of HPs, have you ever had HP sauce, like brown sauce? Is that a staple in Australia? Uh, so, like, steak sauce? No, not, well... What is brown sauce? It's, like, HP sauce. Barbecue sauce? No, it's HP, like, H HP, just, like, the words, like, Hotel Papa. So... Hotel Papa sauce. Oh, so it's, it's not, like, branded. No, well, it is branded. That's, like, the brand name, right? But the... Non denominical okay. brand, the non denomination, the the non branded sauce is is just brown sauce. Oh. What? Like we have a lot of brown sauces. Okay, well, yeah, but, but like, I, I know, I is know. It like Worcestershire? No, is it like no, Worcestershire? Worc it's not Worcestershire. It's brown sauce. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I've never encountered this in my entire life. Ever since. Yes, we have HP sauce, and I really enjoy it. Oh okay. Are you like? No, I'm kidding. Obviously. <laughs> I've never it's heard not, of it. That's not obvious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. But in all seriousness, right? Have you ever had HP yes. sauce? Okay. <clears throat> no. I actually don't know what it is. Please just like give me a straight up. I answer am here. not kidding you. I literally have no clue what HP sauce is. HP when you say brown sauce. sauce, I was certain that you meant steak sauce. And I don't even know what steak sauce is. So I don't I, would... I, I put hot English mustard on my steak. Okay. I don't I, know. I don't know what hot English mustard is, honestly. Wow. What? Great shot. Great, great shot. Thank you. Like, is that Coleman's mustard? Is that what we're talking about here? Uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like, it's like a spicy hot mustard. No, no idea, mate. Like, it doesn't come in like liquid. It's usually like a nice chunk that they give you and then you spread it very, very lightly across. No? No. How do you know what, how do you not know what this is? Hot English mustard. How are you messing with me? That's my impersonation of you 12 minutes ago. I don't, but you see, I've been clear from the start. I have no I have perception no of idea. time. Sorry, what? I have no idea. <laughs> That's been two minutes. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what hot English mustard is. And I've been, I've been clear about that from the start. Wow. Good shot. Thank you. Um, I've been clear about that from the start. You, on the other hand, you have been, you've been conducting a, a campaign of, lies and sabotage in order to confuse and befuddle me and i don't appreciate it uh-huh you're not wrong but i don't okay i have legitimately never encountered anything called hp sauce or anything called brown sauce i do not know what they are i do not know what their flavor profile would be okay i think you might you know if you're if you're you're after a little bit of fruit if you're after a little bit of unconventional spice in your life then HP sauce might actually just be for you. It might be the sauce that you've been missing root? all these years. Yeah, it's a fruity it's taste. Fruit. No, it's not fruit. It's it's a sauce. It's a, it's actually a brown sauce. It's a brown liquid. Is it like chutney? No, it's not. It's like a vinegar based, like like a, a condiment. I'm serious. It's like a, it's 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 just a sauce. It's just like a, it's just a sauce. It's okay. <laughs> just, yes. No. I get it. It's sauce. <laughs> Is it more like a jam or a jelly or a preserve? No, it's not. It's like a sauce. You put it on, on baps, and you put it on, you know. What's a bap? Oh my goodness! Do I have to explain the entire Scottish and English culture to you during the explanation? Yes, of if you just sauce? go from the top. Actually, you know what? Not from the top. Just Magna Carta onwards. Thank you. Magna Carta onwards. Thank you. My expertise actually <laughs> lies before that time, but I will forgive you for that. Um, All right, fair enough. I'm sorry about that. It's it's just a sauce. It's like a it's like a vinegar based sauce condiment which you put on burgers and a bap is like a a bap is like a you know like a sausage bap or a bacon bap it's just like a bacon roll or a sausage roll oh okay Can't yeah i'm familiar with rolls yeah not like rolls down a hill but like rolls like bread. no i was thinking rolls royce oh okay yeah wow wow you are a prestigious fellow Oh yeah, no. I, I, the only reason that I would ever get out of my Rolls Royce is to get into my Bentley. 
That's true. That is that is that is quite an observation. <laughs> I love that in this series, right, because there's someone to actually bounce it off against to make it clear that I'm being sarcastic, I get to do that as a character yeah, uh, yeah. rather than having to constantly immediately walk back jokes like that so that someone hasn't gotten this as their first episode and gone, yeah. wow, Rhapsody is actually really, really, hmm. It's, uh, hmm. Yeah, but in all seriousness, you do, well, you frequently get out of your Rolls Royce, don't you? You get out of your Rolls Royce to record videos... Yeah, you know. I rolls out of my Royce. I like to, I like to exactly. have it be a little bit, a little bit of a song. That is the most damage Minos has ever done, and it wasn't with double damage. Look at that spread. Look at that perfect spread. Does it stack, like additively? I guess, like because it seemed that they were doing more damage the more that hit. Does it stack additively? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry. All damage in this game does. It does. stack multiplicatively? Is what I meant to say. Maybe. I don't know, but I do know that I hit all but one of them, and then the one that I didn't hit collected a thing. So it's possible that they have... I am so sorry to say this, but some sort of auto-aiming nonsense going on. They might actually... I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't think. Maybe we've just been missing the effectiveness of the weapon for literally years. I wouldn't actually put it past us. I feel sorry for you about that. That is a great weapon. I thought that I was going to be able to shoot the skeet earlier. Shoot the skeet. Yep. No, unfortunately not. That's what it's called. I, I don't know. know why you would possibly make a point of that. I'm I'm not. I just thought it was... <clears throat> a... Sorry. That was a bad shot. Yeah, you know what? It's well done that you apologized to me. Because I am uh, aggrieved that you didn't manage to deal a bunch of damage to me. In all seriousness, though, have you ever tried HP sauce? Like a genuine, no, I don't genuine know what it is. Here. You sure? I literally don't know what it is. I have decided to go, like, to cover for my lack of knowledge. I have decided to go entirely as far away from it as I possibly can and make fun of the general idea. But I have no clue what HP sauce is. I have heard of brown sauce before. I assumed that it was some sort of steak sauce or barbecue sauce. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like barbecue sauce. I mean, what is steak sauce? Because maybe we're just miscommunicating. I don't know. Here. I've never had steak sauce. Okay, well that's blooming useless. I mean, just utterly unhelpful in every possible way. Yeah, that's that's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> wow, that was quite that was quite self-deprecating, even for you. Actually, that was uh, <laughs> oh, yikes. <laughs> You might have to have a weak cry later in your uh, in your rolls just to make up for that. Oh, I would never cry in the rolls. That would damage the leather interior. Thank you very much. And I just had it detail. The Porsche is for crying, is it? There, the Porsche is for, the Porsche is a poor man's car. Of course, the Porsche is for crying. Also, Porsche. Thank you very much. It's not Porsche. It's Porsche. It no Porsche. No, it's Porsche. I pronounce it like De Rossi. Porsche. I pronounce it like Porsche. No, P P Porsche. You do. No, I don't. Well, I'm glad to hear that we're I in don't. agreement here. I, I, I am so sorry. I'm, I'm As so well sorry. you should be. You need to. Feeding me disinformation. How dare you pretend that you believe something or don't believe something that you obviously do or do not. Now, I, back yeah. to HP source. HP, I just, it, it hurts me how you haven't tried HP sauce. Like, I thought this was a universal concept, but I am so no. mistaken. All right, have you tried Promite? Uh, I know what it is, thanks to our long conversations, but I wouldn't go so okay, far so as to say... Okay, so would you have known it before that? No, if I, I wasn't... Uh, oh, okay, no, I, wouldn't I can't believe it. you don't know that. Blah blah blah. Other words, I do hurtful. Know it. I do know. I do know it though, because you, you told me all about it and you explained it. You know, I know. Wasn't I generous in sharing the information rather than ridiculing you for not knowing? I've told, I've told you about. I've told you about this. I've I've told you about HP sauce, and you just. You told me it's fruity and that it's got a bit of spice. <laughs> that to me is vinegar, a chutney. That's vinegar a chutney. Paste. Vinegar paste. It's, it's a sauce. It comes in a bottle. I've told you it's a sauce. Yeah, but. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but that's that's you. that's a preserve. A preserve is vinegar based. That's how you preserve it. 
I might not know actually what a burp reserve is. Oh. Poor, poor show. Look. Yeah, no, I, I tend to agree. I would encourage you to try HP sauce. It's really good. <clears throat> it's really, really good. I if like I ever get the opportunity, I promise you that I will. Have it, you know, with a bap of some sort. Or with uh, chips. I, I don't know if we have baps. A bacon now. roll. Have it with a bacon roll or a sausage roll. Do you have sausage rolls? You know, just like a quick... Oh, quick do we roll. have sausage rolls? Sorry, like, I gotta go back to basics. Do with we you. have sausage rolls? Do Australians have sausage rolls? Okay, yeah, let me just think about that for a moment. It's a long way to the shop if you want a sausage roll is one of the most famous parodies of one of our most famous metal bands. Yes, they are technically a metal band, don't argue. Uh, ACDC's It's a Long Way to the Top if you want to rock and roll, so... Oh. Yes. Uh, I thought it was It's a Long Way to the Shop if you want a sausage bap, but... That doesn't even rhyme! Sorry, I meant to say sausage roll, but it came out bap because it's just so natural. Um, oh, okay. It's a long way yeah, to the no, shop. Yeah, no, I get, I get that. Roll. Sorry, no, I, I apologize for denigrating that. We should do a parody, dude. We should write a parody song <laughs> called "It's a Long Way to the Shop." If you want a sausage roll, ACDC you know parody what? song. That would probably go really well. It would probably be played on the radio occasionally, and occasionally actually be played during Australia Day celebration. Here's the thing, right? Not that I know anything about those. I don't really attend. Not one for Australia Day. Isn't it? It's like a national holiday thing, isn't it? Like, uh, where you it celebrate is, being Australian. There's a lot of controversy about uh, Australia Day specifically because it is the it is referred to by a lot of those who were actually originally native to this continent and then got slaughtered by the kind of incoming forces as the day of invasion. So it would be the very least we could do to move it to a day that doesn't necessarily mark genocide. Uh, That's true. Which is why I don't celebrate it. That's true. I mean, if you take any consolation, you can probably, probably, uh, I mean, the calendars have changed throughout the thousands of years. So, I mean, none of the dates that we use today actually bear any resemblance to absolutely anything at all. Like uh, Christmas. That's 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 a nonsense. bit of a weak argument when oh, it no. is specifically I, supposed I to mark that event. I, I sympathize. I sympathize with that. However, I, I always find it funny how we celebrate certain, like Easter Sunday on like a certain day. And I'm like, this has got yeah, that's... no no bearing to anything ever, right? Like Christmas, Easter Sunday, no bearing to anything whatsoever. Ooh. And then yeah. furthermore, the uh, what was it? It's it's believed that chronologically. Now I'm I'm not going to get directly into you know uh, the credibility of this, but I believe that chronologically, someone uh, some like reputable source said that. Uh, the the birth of Jesus would have occurred in what we now understand as September, and that it's just in December because it took over from the Saturnalia. A pagan uh, celebration. celebration. Yeah. 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 It's a solstice celebration. That's what it is. It's a pagan solstice. That's um, it's a pagan solstice celebration, which was appropriated, which I find mm. hilarious. And, very and would end in the, uh, <clears throat> or rather they would choose and fatten up, I believe, like certain members of the poor and then kill them at the end, like a human sacrifice. Wow, that's kind of cool. I, look, on honestly, <laughs> I, I don't mean that, obviously. I mean, but, you know, we as a species have really sort of uh, given up on human sacrifice in general. Yeah, we've, we've pulled down on it. Yeah. I mean, the Aztecs. One of the big progresses that we've made is humankind. I mean, Aztecs. We're always sacrificing people. They were like ripping, ripping organs out, putting them on like altars and stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy to think how that actually was a thing. It still blows my mind. It is. It is frankly insane. What I like to think about is what do we do now that future generations will look back on and go, "Wow, they did that? Really?" I don't know. What do you think? Do you have any? Do you have anything in mind? I, th I think that uh, future generations, should there be any, uh, will look back and go, wow, they really hated the planet. Good Lord. <sighs> Specifically with respect to uh, global warming and climate change. That's an interesting I one. think that would be, That's I an think that one. would be the big one. Because I, th I think one of the interesting things, right? And 
historians do this today. Oh, thank you. You saved me. You actually totally saved me. Oh. Oh. Yes, because I can't get down from here. I'm stuck. All right, I'm moving off. And now I know to only fire weapons that will not uh, change your position. Oh, ho, ho. wow. Can I do this? Not only here? did I change your position. Yeah. I don't have it. I don't have it. You're going to need 175 this turn. I, I, don't, I don't have that. I'm afraid I don't have that. I've got moons, but that's about it. Oh, you're saving my bacon here, dude. Mm-hmm. But I still don't have anything. You'll be encouraged to know. Yeah, 154. You would have to crit with something really, really harshly. Are you going to do it? Are you going to finish me off? I I had, like, all of the rest of my weapons would have dealt maybe 10 damage. Well, you already saw the caliber of weapons that I was using by the end of that game. It was pretty mm. poor. Pretty, pretty poor. Oh, I upgraded my uh, my shuriken to a multi-star now. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh. There's apparently one more level yet to gain. I got I got regular old seagull. Just upgraded from baby seagull. There we go. Fun fact for you. You have not got mama seagull yet? No. Why, have you got mama seagull? Yeah, I've had it for ages. You're kidding me. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Yikes. Way to make me feel like I'm worthless. It's Look, it's an AoE weapon. It only really does anything in AoE matches. So That's true. You're fine. Don't worry. That's true. All right. Oh, the silliest balls this side of Narnia. It's pretty effective, Damn. silly balls. I'll take it. That's some damage right there. Them some silly balls. I think it's the is the quote that you're looking for right there. Sorry, you're right, you're right. My bad. Oh. Bleeding hell, that's just awful. Mm-hmm. There is nothing. So it is. That. It's just so bad. I had to destroy your terrain so you wouldn't really have the ability to about the map. What about... M4. I care about M4. I still can't believe you said that. It was good. It's not even the worst pun in that episode. I, I know. I know. Oh, come on. Skill shot. Ah, oh, double damage. I can't win. I, I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to hit this. Ah, uh, yikes. Believe in yourself. Why don't you believe in yourself for? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay. I believe in myself. Whoa! Okay, you know what? That actually turned out not too bad. Yeah, that's some serious damage right there. That's what happens when you believe in yourself, Paul. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Unlucky. I'm glad you're applauding yourself there, because... I certainly wouldn't have, so I'm glad someone did. I was mostly applauding the weapon. Oh, not yourself. Oh. No, never. Do you not applaud yourself? No. Why not? Why would I ever? Why not? Why would you? There's not no opportunity yourself? that I would have to do that. Well, you know, sometimes you deserve a, a clap, clap, clap here, and a clap, clap there. No. <laughs> This is not a common. This is not. Sorry. This is not common occurrence. I've had the clap enough. <laughs> I didn't want to. I, <laughs> I thought we were just gonna pass over that. Yeah. No. I decided I had to because I'd laughed at it already. Like I'd committed to it at that point, effectively. Oh. Okay. Uh, that was a wasted shot. Complete mm, waste of time. So it was. I, yikes. I've got a tractoids, right? So I'm just looking for a low wind opportunity. You were just out of range of the second hit there. BT I dubs. I know. BT dubs, I feel you on that one. Oh, you were just out of range of that. Those mm -hmm. 50 hits there. BT dubs. I'm just moving constantly to try and lose your bead. 
I wish I could move. I might actually be able to move now, but I couldn't move before. There we go. Yeah. What do I get? Incendiary bombs. Ooh. Uh-oh. I don't know what that is. I, I don't think we've ever had that before. It's an upgraded... No, Ooh. I don't think it's... Oh, it's an upgraded carpet fire! It's like napalm! Ooh, it's... Yeah. Napalm strike, yeah. Cool. Alright, near bats. Very near cool bats. I'm just looking for low wind. If I had low wind, I could just use attractoids. Wow, that was... You were like millimeters away from not making that shot work. Yeah, but that's how you get max damage. Ain't that the truth? The biggest risks in life are always the ones that... Uh, Breathe. But you can give them to the birds and bees. Sorry, what? No, no, no. The biggest risks in life take the biggest risk. No, the biggest rewards in life. Yeah, come you know the what? You're risks. right. <laughs> the biggest risks in life do take the biggest risks. Sometimes they don't think it be like it is, but it do. Is that a song? No. Okay, I was waiting to say that would be a great. Oh, that was a sick shot. That was. An oh, thank you. Absolutely disgusting shot. Oh, thank you so much. I was kind of proud of a lot of the shots that I landed in that episode. That uh, and then, <clears throat> not particularly proud of some others. Well, that's, I mean, isn't that the whole point of this game? Like, it's, that's 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 what it's always like, you know? Sometimes you're happy with shots, other times you're not. You know what? You're not wrong. And on that note, very depressing one, but also enlightening. We're going to end the episode. Ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obi Potato. His name's been Rhapsody. Link to Rhapsody's channel in the description down below. Go check it out. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Adios.